I met Dr. Parker when I was three years old. My aunt actually referred my family to him because he was the best of the best. I met this young girl when she was three years old in 1990. She was born in Lebanon with a bilateral cleft lip. The first time I met him, I was definitely etched into my family's minds and now it's etched into mine. I've had over 20 surgeries in all. So there was a lot of physicians that worked with Dina and helped accomplish where she is today. It was a team uh, concept, and that's what the cleft palate team is. They were scary. You don't know what to expect when you're three years old, five, eight, or however old I was in all of them. Even when I was 16, I had the last one with Dr. Parker. He's it just scares you because you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what to expect. I mean, every every time there was a lot of pain after, lots of tears on my part and on my mom's part, which is the hardest. They saved my life by providing all the surgeries pro bono. Without them, I would have been stuck with the deformity for the rest of my life. Kids are really I mean, people are just mean in general. I remember all the names, all the pointing, the staring. Sometimes even now it happens, but now I, I brush it off. I feel like I'm happier. I first started with this young lady when I was 47. And uh, she has developed into an unbelievable young lady. I definitely feel that all the help and love and care that I got from the cleft team, especially Dr. Parker, um, has molded me into the kind of person that I want to give back in any way possible. Now I'm a clinical assistant in the ICU at Seton Maine, and I love it. I've never worked with people in such a way that you feel like you're benefiting them the same way I was, you know, helped. I think she is a testament to all that we as plastic surgeon in Austin have wanted to accomplish, and that is take care of these young kids and see them grow to become a asset to the medical community. When I'm at those events for Austin Smiles and the kids are around, it breaks my heart because I know what they're going to go through and because I've been there and, um, and I know the struggles that they're going to go through and the pain and the just the agony that they're going to go through with them and their parents and I feel like in some way just me being there helping and telling my story or just letting them know that everything's going to be okay. Everything will work out and you're gonna be fine and you're gonna have friends, and you're gonna find love, and you're gonna go you're gonna you're gonna have it all. And it doesn't just stop with some deformity. It, that's what it's all about. That's what also smells is. I hope that everyone here tonight will pull out their checks and their credit cards and their cash or whatever they have with them and throw it off the smiles way so they can continue, you know, making people happy and giving them their smiles back. I know I didn't have mine for a long time, but I do now. <laughs> so, um, donate, 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 help when you can, volunteer when you can. Whatever you can do, it's always appreciated, always grateful, especially for me. And I know for all the kids that know children's and the cleft team, we love you. So please donate.